Hi, I'm Robin, this is Matt. Uh, Matt Simmons is watching us from the back, taking videos. Thanks, thanks for that, appreciate it. Um, uh, we've got another two members who aren't here, um, and I'm here to talk about Nicholas. What's Nicholas? Um, our group, we coalesced around mental health, in work, out of work, looking for work. Big issue, definitely too big to solve in a weekend. Uh, and our team ended up pivoting over the course of the uh, day. Uh, a couple of uh, team members and uh, we to get pictures. Uh, we pivoted uh, to career growth pains for doctors because we had two doctors in our team and we had a product guy in our team, not me, and we had some back end people. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's Back in. We came to the realization, of course, that there's a very clear structured clinical training program for doctors that goes up and nice up in the steps, very clear and predictable. And then you get to the question mark of, I've just finished my training, what's next? Um, usually what happens is you either become right out of the gate a superhero and fly off to the stratosphere, or sometimes you solve, walk along in the doldrums, or sometimes you just get lost because you're used to the structure and now you have no structure. Uh, the reality is that the thing that predicts whether you will have become a superhero is not your clinical training, but your non-clinical skills and development, the things like interviewing skills, the things like management training programs, all the things that you could be doing along your career, along your clinical training, that you leave to the last minute because you didn't realize they were on a job description until you saw the job description. Problem. This is the clinical training modules. There's nothing that looks like this from the non-clinical, undiscovered curriculum. Un undiscovered, un 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 undiscovered, competent, different. We had a solution to the problem we came up with was an NHS What's Next, an app discovery platform to help making the undocumented curriculum accessible and available and, and actionable. Um, get your phones out if you want to use the QR code uh, and, show the, and show the thing. Um, we did a paper prototype um, because we don't have uh, um, real, uh, we don't have the front of it. Basically, it's a where am I? I'm a core trainee. Uh, I work in anesthesia um, long term, a little bit of a question mark. I might want to go clinical long term. I might want to be an educator. I definitely want to work in areas of limited resource. Uh, I've got some questions around what is the, the thing that I've recently done added to my log around. Uh, personal development. Now I'd like to plan my personal development. Uh, as an educator, I need some teaching course. I'm zero teaching course. I need some suggestions on teaching course. Oh, look at that. Uh, maybe I should register for that fellowship, or maybe I should take this uh, this course. Star, 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 and then it's done. And now I've got a clear action list. Um, I'd like to attend that Asia's Hack Day because that's a really critical skill set that is not attached to. Your Suggestions for what skills you might need to exist already, how much you'd have to create new, and how changeable they are. So, uh, sorry, I'm not um, So, the problem is that lots of these resources exist, but they don't exist in the structured way that the clinical system exists. And so, so, the idea of this app is to provide you with a prompt through your training to enable you to access the resources a bit more early, so you can get a, get a foot on the ladder a bit more early. On that trajectory, if you have developing and long term skills earlier in your career. The one, the one point that I, I didn't get to make in my pitch, so I'm going to well, some time. Okay, what um, were you, what you were going to ask me the question? I'm going to ask my question about <laughs> is, this, <laughs> is this good for the NHS? Okay, <laughs> does anybody want to know if this is good for the NHS? <laughs> <laughs> There's value to the individual clinician, and then, of course, you can extend this to um, nurses and the bed, you know, the bed and clinical. So it's, it's a wider skill set. We just started with doctors because that's who we are to. Um, the second uh, point is that there's definitely future-facing skills that are of, of relevance to what NHS water, AI skills, digital training, all that stuff that we know we're going to need in five years, but isn't on job descriptions for people like Match today. That's the kind of stuff that you can start suggesting, or are suggesting. Thank you very much.